Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank y'all for choosing to hang out with me for a little bit here. We are in Rochester, Minnesota. Minnesota. Hey, Minnesota. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we are picking up some sort of cabinetry. Some kind of cabinet countertops or something like that. Uh, it's only supposed to be 8,300 pounds. And we're just over a half mile away. Oh, snow. So much snow. Hey, is that where I'm going? Should have looked at the name of the place that I'm going to. So that would have been helpful. I hope that's not it. Boulder Ridge. Hey, it looks like this might be it right here. Go ahead and get in this turn lane. All trucks, loading dock. Oh boy, what a turn here. Wow. I hope there's more space on the other side. Is this sucks. Wow, there's not a whole lot of room here at all. All right, so I gotta figure out which dock I'm going to. I don't know where to go. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Um, so this white van right here, this is the dock that I have to go to, like right here. And there's uh, not a whole lot of space. So I'm gonna have to pull up, pull up this way, and then back in over there. This ought to be interesting. And it's starting to snow. It's really freaking cold. Let's get in this dock. Like this was a, this was a dumb setup, guys. Whoever designed this, they were definitely not thinking about big trucks. Uh, I don't believe they've ever seen a big truck. Oh, this is, this is gonna be interesting, for sure. But. We'll make it work. It might take us a little bit, but hey. Oh, worried about this ice. We're in this parking lot here. Woo. Okay. y'all can see what kind of struggle this is here I have to jackknife it into that spot
Oh, I got a curb like right by my bumper. Right, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna pull forward and do it a little different. Put it a little closer to the pipes. Or to the whatever that thing is, the pipe there. And then jackknife it in there. to the too close to the uh, the electric box it's over there they don't give you a whole lot of room here couldn't imagine if I was stretched another five foot or so jackknife it too early and run into the pole you don't do it early enough you run into the electric boxes this is stupid Do what? I think we can try that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, with the uh, the 20 minutes it took to get loaded, the parking lot's white. Uh, the truck is turning white. And yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm going to basically drive right into this. Uh, I'll show you all this load real quick. Oh, this is going to be fun. First. First uh, big snow of the season, for me at least. I haven't been, I haven't dealt with any of this so far. But this is the the load, not what I thought it was. But y'all, the uh, the plate sat like right here, and then he just drove over on the the bump stop over there to get in because that's just a big gap. <laughs> Whoa, y'all. I gotta get back in the truck before I hurt myself. <laughs> All right, so there's an accident right here in front of us. No, this just happened. Like I trying to turn right, so I'm hoping that this fire truck's not in my way. Uh, I'm not recording this well. Let's see here. You're good, just bear with me for a moment. I'm gonna turn right here. Oh yeah, that's a... Man, they sit all over the place. Pretty nasty head-on collision there. Five minutes talking to the driver of the one car. 
definitely gonna take a little longer to get there than expected <laughs> but this kind of stuff man will keep you on your damn toes unless you're like one of these other drivers that drive around with their toes on the dash anyways and they don't care but this is this definitely breaks up the monotony the the regular everyday just kind of like almost boring trucking of just sitting between the lines like this this is why I want to go into like oversized loads or you know something like that not necessarily heavy haul but like oversized um, because it's more of a challenge there's more you know there's more skill needed and this is almost exciting um, but it's terrifying all at the same time because you have no control uh, of the weather you have no control of whether or not the roads are going to be icy. You know, you, you hit a slick spot and you, I mean, you could be done, you know? It could be pretty nasty either way. Uh, but it's it's exciting in the in the sense of it keeps you on your toes. Like, it's, it's something new. It's a new challenge. Like, keep on trucking. Uh, stay safe. Respect the road. Uh, respect the weather. And just, uh, you know keep going like get there made to be through that you know that's an accomplishment people that can actually drive through this respectfully and safely you know I, I think they're some of the the higher skilled drivers versus the ones that just you know bomb down the road and they don't care they don't respect it and then they crash and all that kind of stuff I'm not saying that you know I, I'm too good to crash uh, but I definitely respect the road, and I think a lot of you guys do as well. Uh, we drive a little slower. We, you know, we take our time. We're, we're a little more alert of what's going on around us. Uh, we do run a CB. I'll say that again. We do run a CB. And my CB volume's up loud enough, somebody's talking, I hear them. It's a, it's a big factor in running in weather like this, where you, your limited sight distance and your stopping distance is extended. People don't understand that. And it's like some of these truck drivers out here, obviously they they don't care, they, they don't have enough uh, experience, they don't have the respect for the road, for the weather. Uh, they get out here and they tailgate, and uh, they're, you know, they're on their phones, tailgating in bad weather. And uh, I mean, that, unfortunately that's how crap happens, but uh, I've definitely learned that going under an overpass is just as bad as going over an overpass um, or like being on the bridge because the underside will freeze just as quick as the top side uh, that's usually where I hit the slick spots and kind of like you get the little wheel spin it's under the, the overpass so y'all just be careful out there we're gonna get on down the road these uh this 35 southbound here is, it looks dry, it looks good, but it is extra greasy. I've already been kind of cockeyed. And that's, uh, that's no fun. No fun at all. Um, the, uh, just a few minutes ago, I, I, I didn't have my camera on, but uh, thankfully it looked like nobody was injured. 
Uh, there wasn't even DOT on the scene yet, but you came over a hill for like an overpass kind of thing. And then on the other side of the hill, a quarter mile down, they're, they're stopped. Uh, you got a jackknife RV, uh, fifth wheel RV and pickup uh, in the left lane and kind of like on the guardrail, all smashed up over there. And then just past it um, is a tanker, a day cab tank. Woo, yeah, see, we're greasy here. Um, the, uh, they, he was jackknifed and his truck was facing the other way or facing back towards us. Um, and that's, that, that, that's scary stuff, but we had to weave through them, but coming down, trying to stop on this road, uh, I mean, I was turned about like this, you know, kind of facing the on, uh, the oncoming traffic and, uh, just counter steering, braking, um, They'll just stab brake and just kind of hitting the brake a little bit, counter steering, letting it catch, come back around, and uh, just kind of wiggled. So I strained it back out. That was scary. Luckily, I've, I've, I've only been doing 40, 45 mile an hour, but you can do a lot of damage at you know 45 mile an hour. Y'all just be careful. This is a. Uh, no fun for sure. I mean, I can I throttle up and it just spins. So this road is extremely greasy. Whoa! <laughs> I got an RV coming up here on on my left. Whoa! I'm gonna see if I can get out of these ruts here. Maybe maybe we'll be better if we're not riding directly in the on the two track here. And you're supposed to take your weight distribution and anti-sway off and this kind of stuff. It don't help when you got you know, 8,300 pounds in the back and I'm sure these super singles don't make it any better. is all confused on what's going on. We are uh, 0.8 miles out, guys. Not too bad, right? does have a turn signal, okay. Ah, I gotta clean these windows. I'm gonna clean the windows and the mirrors. That's so hard to freaking see. I should have stopped in a truck stop and used the window squeegee, but hey, you know what, we're not, well, I'm not perfect. We all make mistakes. Stay right there where you're at. Wait on the bus, all right. Never been down here before, but Lenexa is actually where my dad lives, but he's over at my brother's house back in Tennessee. <laughs> Christmas a little bit 83rd Terrace this is interesting looking all right uh, I hope this is where I need to go if not it might be a little difficult getting out of here uh, we're going to Chemical Reference Laboratory, something. Hey, look, this place right here. Uh, 
does it say? No trucks. Trucks. COVID specimen drop box. I don't need that. Private drive, not up the street. Okay, I just need to know if I can go back here with the truck. Which way do the trucks need to go? I don't know. Let's see what we can find out here. What do y'all say? Oh, more of these crappy docks. Yeehaw! Oh, there's actually room in there though. Oh, he said building F. I believe. I'm gonna go on down and see if that's building F. That's E. No, F would be the one behind me then, because they're going down. I see C. Alright, let me back up and. like anybody's here so I have no idea what dock to go to I'm gonna spin around though that just makes sense to do something to call and uh, I'll get back with y'all hey I got security coming over here at least I think that's what I see hang on what's going on boss man <laughs> trying to figure out if I'm at the right place uh, this is obviously where I need to be. Do what? CRL? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I pulled over there because that's I seen the sign on the front of the building. And I was like, oh, and then I realized that's where I need to be. So you got so. a delivery in the morning? Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, yeah. brother, I need you to park over to the parking lot. Come on. Can I see uh, your paperwork in your eyes yeah. before me, please? Yeah. I think going to stay here on property every night. Yeah, if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's just some cabinetry, some some kind of brackets or something. So, yeah. Yeah. Is that for you or for the company? This one. All right. Ah, okay. I'm trying to be an ass, but is that your phone or is that their phone? Okay. It just makes it easier, so I'm not sitting here trying to write everything up. No, I, I understand. I get it. Yeah. That's just where I lay my head, you know? Yeah, I, I so, I get it. I understand. It. I, I want you to see, look, this, this one here, this was my phone. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Own personal phone. You're good. No, no, I understand. <laughs> I don't like just giving my information out to people. Just, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get a picture of the front license plate. But, yeah, okay. Just, so they don't use those docks? No. Not on okay, so just kind of park up against the building. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I was like, I looked on Google and I'm like, man, it looks like cars park here. I don't, I don't want to get stuck. Come six, seven o'clock in the morning, everybody's parked. And I can't get out. <laughs> yeah, that's why, yeah, that's why we have them park over there. FedEx, they take FedEx first in the morning. Okay. So they have anybody who stays, so they just stay over there. And then as soon as FedEx gets done, you can just pull you right in. 
Okay. So somebody will come get me when they're ready for me, or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll All send right. out an email so that way they know you're on the property. With okay. The information. So, All right. What time do they get here? Uh, this side over here, I believe they get here. I want to say it's like seven or eight. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I'll be up then. Right. Be ready. I I'll appreciate it, man. Have a picture of the license plate, man. Go over there, Alrighty, yeah. Sounds good. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. If you look out your front window here, you will see the uh, the median I was talking about last night. And it's stupid. But luckily, I'm going to get unloaded here. So it worked out. I should have just stayed here last night, right? I'm going to get this all set up. This lady's got a blanket in her shawl. Looks like she's got a pot of something. Is she bringing breakfast? No? No breakfast? I don't know. One can hope, right? Go right next to this. Uh, whatever it is, this little, little straight truck here. Where'd she go? Okay, she went to her car. Do this like this, right? I thought he was going to move this truck the way he was talking, and that's where I was going to go. There was another dock. They originally told me, uh, still gotta clean my windows and mirrors. I'm terrible at that. Uh, they open at seven, that's what the guard said last night. And then, the lady knocked on my door about six, telling me they don't open till nine. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm here, so I don't have to worry about, you know, at least I didn't start my clock and get over here at seven. Uh, and then uh, he came over here knocking on my door about 20 minutes ago. You mind doing a split load? <laughs> as long as it's in the same parking lot? I'm like, I don't care, I'll do whatever you need me to do. As long as there's room to get it done. So, that's what we're doing. So with these new handles, I noticed um, I'm used to just like doing this and pulling them. But this is a little sharp. <laughs> so I gotta be, and then the, the ear is a little sharp. So I gotta be a little more careful whenever I, I do that. But I'm gonna go check, figure out how much he's taking off here. Uh, Cause I gotta go back over there and uh, unload. So I'm gonna try to clean my mirrors real quick while I wait. So give me a few minutes guys. on this guy took out all the three pallets and I gotta get those and that dock down there so you gotta maneuver our way over here guys
getting load alerts. Go ahead, go ahead, boss. Go ahead, go ahead. Do what you need to do. It's gonna be a minute. <laughs> That's going to be fun. if we can't do this blind side. What do y'all say? Damn. Somebody melted the ashtray. <laughs> no. It's not gonna work. We gotta change the angle. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Let's try this. I used to hate hood mirrors because I thought they looked terrible, but I use the absolute crap out of my hood mirrors. All right, Cracker Jack. Let's go. Let's get your butt in there where you belong. Trucker selfie. <laughs> oh. They're lined up a little better here. dock ladies and gentlemen go get this unloaded and then uh yeah get out of here right all right guys we are unloaded finally uh took about 30 minutes to get the last three pallets off no big deal um i'm gonna get on my way to my next load it's cold here i'm ready to get back south tennessee maybe it'd be a little warmer i don't know but the wind is blowing this friggin' sucks this sucks this cold sucks but it's all good uh, I'm not really bitching, just kind of whining a little bit. Uh, yeah, this load was good. Uh, was it over $6 a mile, I believe it is? Uh, I'll put it in the description or the title. Uh, good load, nice light, 80, 300 pounds, if that. A little bit of diciness with the with 35 and uh, 90 there, but wasn't too bad. A little, uh, a little scary, but, but we're good. Made it here safely. So uh, let's do the same thing and get to the next load. Y'all be good. Stay safe out there. Love you guys. Uh, let your family know you love them. Stand up for what you believe in. Think a veteran. Carry your weapons.